Two Wisconsin communities are competing for a chance to appear in a national TV show. Teams from Columbus and Montello submitted videos to HGTV's hometown competition, trying to get their communities a complete makeover. And Jamie Perez shows us why each of them believes they should win. Columbus are small town Wisconsin gems, but there are parts that are a little rusty, dated, and in need of some repairs. My name is Steve Stark, and I am co-owners of Oyster Crackers Soup and Sandwich Shop in downtown Montello. Steve Stark has been a proud Montello resident for the past 30 years, and Lisa Wolf, Beth Riani, and Sarah Miller are proud Columbus residents. We have a, a business locally. We own Vintage Fields at Farmy Betty's. We're an event venue. They were all part of teams of people that helped submit videos to HGTV to hopefully get a makeover in a national TV. TV show. Both of them want this for their communities. Columbus stands out in this competition. We are going somewhere. You know, there is a vibe in the town. People are passionate. We have a lot of things happening. Um, and so we feel like this is just going to be, this is going to add to our growth and possibility. Just, just as part of bringing the downtown area back uh, to get people excited about their community again, you know, get them excited about their downtown area. For both groups, these are their homes that have loved and provided for them for many years. And both are hoping to get the opportunity to put that love and care right back into the community to increase tourism, the economy, and hometown pride. Good families, good people. I know everybody Everybody deserves it, but I'm right in the middle of something really cool here. Interested in retaining business. We're interested in growing and getting new business. We're excited, and we really want to see Columbus prosper. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. We just feel that the community is something special. Good luck to both of them. And HGTV is currently reviewing everyone's video submissions from all over the country. And when they pick a winner, they'll start filming the show next year.